Some heroes pull out all the stops when they go up against their villains. Others are so powerful that they have no choice but to hold back. Welcome to Top 10 Nerd. I'm Andrew Boyd, and today we will be taking a fourth look at the top 10 superheroes who have to hold back their power. Your comments on parts one through three were super helpful, and almost every hero featured on this list was actually suggested by someone in our comments. So let's dive in. Number 10, The Spectre. This spirit of vengeance in the DC universe first appeared in More Fun Comics number 52. He was originally a demon named Aztar who was helping Lucifer to try and take control of heaven. He eventually had a change of heart and surrendered to the Archangel Michael. As a means of atonement, his memory and consciousness were wiped and he was transformed into the specter. He is a divinely powered being capable of almost anything he can imagine. He can travel between dimensions and can shoot energy blasts, is immortal and capable of flight, intangibility, possession, telepathy, and telekinesis, just to name a few of his powers. In order to temper this power, he must be bonded to a human host, with his most often host being Jim Corrigan. Spectre has no limit to his power, but is bound by the morality of his host, who often prevents him from unleashing the full wrath of God upon his enemies. Number nine, Green Lantern. The Green Lantern Corps are a group of intergalactic space cops who are led by a group of aliens known as the Guardians of the Universe. They have used the green power of will to create a central power battery on the planet Oa and to create power rings which recruit members to the core and allow them to protect their sectors by creating constructs of anything the wearer can imagine. One of the most powerful and famous Green Lanterns is Hal Jordan, who has created a lot of amazing constructs over the years. When his home, Coast City, was destroyed, Hal showed just how powerful the Green Lantern ring really was by using it to create constructs of the destroyed city and everyone in it for him to interact with when he mourned. However, when he did this, he was breaking the rules established by the Guardians who forbid the use of the ring for personal gain. The Guardians immediately told him to report to Oa for disciplinary action, but Hal went nuts and went to war with the Green Lanterns. However, it is still a good example of how the power ring is potentially unlimited, but using its full power in an undesignated way can result in the ring being taken away by the Guardians, which I think makes this point apply to all of the various members of the Green Lantern Corps. Number eight, Hyperion. Marcus Milton was sent to Earth 13,034 as a baby from a dying world of Eternals where he was raised by a human father who taught him the morals of society. When he grew up, he became the superhero known as Hyperion and joined the super team Squadron Supreme. When his universe and another were colliding, Hyperion tried to prevent his universe's destruction but failed and was left floating in nothingness until AIM scientists on Earth 616 pulled him into their reality and took him prisoner. He was eventually freed by the Avengers who he then joined. Hyperion is is a ripoff of Superman, whose powers come from the sun. As such, he has a very similar power set, being nearly invulnerable, having super strength, speed, stamina, and the ability to fly and shoot atomic energy from his eyes. Like Superman, he has to be extremely cautious due to his amazing strength, as he could easily destroy the planet if he lets loose too much. Unlike Superman, he has cut loose in a violent way before, such as when he plucked Atlantis from the sea and threw it to the ground, thus destroying it. But he felt bad later, so it's okay. Number seven, Captain Marvel. Carol Danvers is the half-human, half-Cree warrior who joined the Air Force before joining NASA. She discovered her powers and became a superhero, operating under various different aliases, such as Miss Marvel, Binary, and Warbird, before eventually taking up the mantle of her dead love, Captain Marvel. She is an extremely powerful hero who has been a member of the Avengers, an honorary X-Man, a star jammer, and the leader of the Alpha Flight space program. Captain Marvel has all the classic powers, such as super strength, durability, and flight, but also has a few extra ones, such as the ability to shoot photon beams and the ability to transmute matter in order to reshape it into anything she wants. She is yet another example of a hero so powerful that they have to be sure to restrain themselves in order to not accidentally kill everyone on the planet. Number six, Rogue. Perhaps the most obvious choice for a spot on this list, and one that it's frankly kind of embarrassing 
thing none of us thought to put in any of the previous three videos on this subject is Rogue. Anna Marie has the mutant power to absorb people's energies through touch, which temporarily grants her their abilities, powers, and memories, and causes her victims to be weakened. She once attacked Carol Danvers, and as a result, permanently ended up with her powers of super strength and flight. She started out as a member of the Brotherhood of Evil Mutants before eventually joining the X-Men. Although her powers can be useful in a combat setting, it can really mess with your personal life when you can't touch anyone you care about without hurting them. So, most of the time, Rogue holds back her powers by wearing gloves for the safety of those around her. Number 5. Storm Aurora Monroe is descended from a long line of African priestesses who all have white hair and the potential to use magic. Her mother was a princess who married an American photojournalist and moved with him to Manhattan, where Storm was born. They moved to Cairo when she was six months old, but when she was five, her parents were killed, leaving her an orphan. She lived as a thief for a while before eventually making her way to Kenya, where her weather controlling powers made her be worshipped as a goddess. She is connected to Earth's weather patterns, and as a result, her emotions can result in unstable weather. If she gets mad, she could start a tornado, for example. Therefore, she has to be careful to keep her powers in check, lest she accidentally cause a natural disaster. Following the death of Wolverine, Storm had Beast take her into space so she could safely vent her emotions, and she still ended up igniting Earth's atmosphere, causing an aurora borealis effect across the entire planet. Number 4. Ghost Rider Johnny Blaze is a motorcycle stuntman who who in an effort to save his surrogate father, Crash Simpson, from dying of cancer, made a deal with the demon Mephisto. Mephisto promised to cure Crash's cancer in exchange for Johnny's service. Unfortunately, Crash perished in a stunt gone wrong almost immediately afterwards, and Johnny became Ghost Rider, becoming bound to the spirit of vengeance, Zarathos. When transformed into the Rider, he has super strength, is essentially immune to damage, and can manipulate Hellfire. Perhaps most iconic is his Penance Stare which causes its victims to experience every bit of pain that they have ever inflicted on other people, resulting in guilt, pain, and trauma. Ghost Rider is extremely powerful, but Zarathos tends to want to go really all out on his quest for vengeance, and Johnny often has to hold him back to prevent him from going too far. Number 3. Iceman Bobby Drake is a mutant whose powers were first revealed when he was attacked by a group of school bullies and he was forced to freeze their leader into a block of ice. An angry mob showed up at his home, planning to execute Bobby, but he was saved by Cyclops and Professor X, and he was invited to join the X-Men. His powers include the ability to become organic ice. He can also generate ice, snow, and cold temperature using the moisture in the air. This is actually more powerful than you might initially think, allowing Bobby to freeze the Earth in a Astonishing X-Men Volume 3, number 64. He is an Omega-level mutant who holds back from using the full extent of his powers as he fears that he could be dangerous. Professor X once said that Iceman has the potential to destroy the planet if he's not careful, and for a time, Bobby was known to wear a special power belt which helped him keep his powers under control. Number 2. The Human Torch When Johnny Storm was exposed to cosmic rays while on a space exploration mission with his sister Sue, Reed Richards, and Ben Grimm, Grimm, he was transformed into the Human Torch, and the group became Marvel's first family, the Fantastic Four. As the Human Torch, Johnny is capable of controlling ambient heat and transforming into a fiery plasma. He can sculpt and throw flames with his pyrokinesis and is able to fly. Most relevant to this list is his Nova Flame, which happens when the torch reaches his hottest temperature and expels it 900 feet around him at a temperature of 1 million degrees Fahrenheit. This makes him about as hot as a nuclear warhead, and if he did this in a populated area, it could result in several deaths. He has stated that this power has the ability to destroy a small moon. He also has to hold back so that he doesn't burn up the Earth's atmosphere, killing everyone on the planet. Number 1. Supergirl Kara Zor-El is Superman's cousin. When the planet Krypton was destroyed, Kara's home, Argo City, was spared thanks to the efforts of her father. Although, due to radiation, the city was slowly turning to kryptonite. When the city was deemed past the point of no return, her father pulled a 
page out of his brother's book and built a rocket, sending Kara to Earth. She became Supergirl and was placed in an orphanage by Superman as part of her cover, although she was eventually adopted by the Danvers family. Supergirl has all of the same powers as Superman, such as flight, super strength, speed, hearing, invulnerability, as well as x-ray and heat vision. As someone with the same powers as Superman, Supergirl has to hold back when she fights villains, or even just interacts with people in general, in order to make sure that she doesn't reduce anyone she comes into contact with into a fine red mist. She is slightly less powerful than her cousin, but there was a period where she became a member of the Red Lantern Corps, giving her both the powers of a Kryptonian and a Lantern to try and have to control. Any other superheroes who are forced to hold back their powers? Check out our other three videos on the subject and maybe you'll see them there. Any other lists you'd like to see? Let us know in the comments below, and remember to like and subscribe for more Top 10 Nerd.